it's just unjustifiable. I think it's so wrong. Kick to the curb. Tonight News 4 is unpacking more for people being forced from the Spanish Cove apartments. Thanks for being here at 10. I'm Samantha Jones. Corey is off tonight. New developments in a News 4 investigation. Tenants being thrown out of their homes and now a county lawmaker is on foot patrol trying to make a difference. News 4's Melanie Johnson first broke this story this week and has new information about how quickly people are packing up. Sam, I spent hours on the property with Councilwoman Shalonda Webb this afternoon while their other notices were found by residents with a reason for the boot. But despite being given 30 days to vacate, some say that's not the case for them. I'm homeless at this point, came to get my mail, um, was asked to leave my building, supposed to be for construction, and... I have nowhere to go. Talene Campbell is in need of emergency shelter after being forced out of her Spanish Cove apartment. I have to be out of my hotel on Sunday. I have no more money. This is the vacate letter she got on Tuesday. Right now, I mean, trying to find a place, yeah, it's hard. The notice saying construction is the reason she had to pack her bags and leave with her son. It's also the first pointing to why residents are being told to leave. I just wish we had more time. I was there alongside Councilwoman Shalonda Webb Friday, walking side by side into the leasing office. Still, no one would speak. We were told to email the corporate office based in Ohio. When you they put the notice on your door, you you lose hope. The county lawmaker hit the pavement to speak with tenants like George Norris. And I've been here for three years paying rent. Now we got to go with my four kids, four little girls. And Diane Oliver. I'm really grateful that she's came out and going on foot patrol and trying to help advocate with us. We told you about the 30 day notices given out to tenants, but now 90 day notices are being put on doors. And next week, legal services will set up a meeting to figure out if all of this is legal. I don't like what's going on because it's totally unfair for one. I've never missed a payment with my rent. I've never been late. Um, What's going on right now is unnatural, and I feel like it's totally illegal. Having four little girls, and as their daddy, you know, what do you do next? So I get out here and try to find another place for us to stay. It's just unjustifiable. I think it's so wrong. Pepper Pike, the owner of the Spanish Cove Townhomes, has an F rating by the Better Business Bureau. I tried to reach out to them again today. Once again, no answer. Legal teams will meet with tenants next week. Melanie Johnson, News 4. Develop